disappointed, discouraged, dumbfounded. Those are just three of the D words that described me last year. But the one word that described me best was done. I had had it. I was sick and tired of showing up with great anticipation of the speech contest and watching in despair as the trophy drove home with someone else. <laughs> contest master, toastmasters, and anyone that's ever been beat down trying to find their way back up. Has anyone ever lost and almost lost it? <laughs> I had. I had literally lost the message that I'd learned to live during my Toastmasters journey and almost gave up this amazing opportunity to share five simple lessons in uplift that I learned during the journey. It started January 31st 2008, one of the most confusing days of my career. I was frustrated professionally, financially, even personally. Received an email telling me to go to work at a company I never applied to. <laughs> the company that I'd given my tears my fears and my irretrievable years had been acquired and I felt like I had been bought and sold. As the new instructions came in, I felt like I was being crushed under the weight of new policies, procedures, and practices. Felt myself wanting to get down and hide. Now in our parting disclosure agreement, I told the corporation I'd no longer state their name in my public addresses, but their initials are IBM. <laughs> and here I was in this huge place trying to fit into this tiny little space, just trying to keep my head down and keep the paychecks coming. And a small voice said to the inside of me, it said, Get up. Wasn't listening. It turned up the volume and said, get up. This is not your place. Your current situation is not your destination. You're not meant for that cubicle or that couch, but you have to get up to get there. So I got up. And it is amazing what shows up if we just take the time to get up and intentionally look for growth. And it showed up for me right there in the midst of all of that corporate chaos like a bright red rose growing out of that slate gray concrete. It was a Toastmasters club. They met on Tuesday at 12 o'clock and I decided I would just show up. My daddy always said 80% of success is just showing up. And when I arrived, it was one of those surreal experiences. It was like, ah! <laughs> the people were so positive. They were so poised. And oh my God, were they clapping. <laughs> that might have been the most clapping I ever experienced in one hour of my life. <laughs> said, these people are crazy. I like them. I like them. And I got so caught up in the feeling of belonging that I didn't even understand what was going on when that pregnant pause came in the meeting. Would anyone like to step up and answer a table topics question? <laughs> to this day, I don't know what she asked or what I answered. <laughs> but I did get this ribbon. <laughs> I took it home, I put it right on the refrigerator next to the kids' report cards and said, Daddy did good today. <laughs> What'd you do, Daddy? I got up, I showed up, 
And I stepped up. And like magic, the next most important process began to happen automatically. It's the most important of all the steps I'm going to share. Grab a pen, write this down. Mess up. No, it's not what you expected to hear from me, but it was exactly what I needed to do. See, I would get so anxious trying to put together the perfect prose for my presentation that I would put off a speech for weeks and weeks until my mentor, Margaret Edinburgh, said to me in her soft, lilting voice, don't worry, Richard. The next time I see a perfect presentation, it'll be the first time. <laughs> I was so relieved to have permission to mess up that I embraced her advice fully and went out and began messing up immediately. I messed up everything to an unreasonable degree. Matter of fact, I messed up a few minutes ago and I'll probably mess up a few minutes from now. But that leads me to the important point of knowing that when you mess up, you gotta never, ever give up. See, the game's already fixed in our favor. It's only two categories of people, winners and quitters. Choose to win, don't quit. It's such important advice that I memorized Edgar Guest's entire poem to share with you, don't quit. Said if things go wrong, and they sometimes will. When the road you're trudging seems all uphill. When the funds are low, and the debts are high. When you want to smile, but you have to sigh. I did say mess up, didn't I? <laughs> Man, don't ever give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with just another blow. Stick to your fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. So if you ever feel down, let me be that voice in your ear that says to you, get up, show up, step up, mess up, but never give up, and I guarantee you'll blow up. Boom. Kind of test, master.